An All-American affair, a place in the quarterfinals of the season's first major up for grabs. Goff to get us underway. Was it somebody in the crowd that's that said what, yes? That's what it sounded like. <laughs> I don't know. Just helping Coco there to make the challenge, it appears. Oh, incredible margin. <laughs> the slimmest. Love touches against the line, and, and that Ms. will Goff be Kinnan's point. Two challenges remaining. Yeah, initially, she thought it might have been the umpire who called it up, but then quickly remembered it wasn't. Love 13. And this is where it can be a little unsettling to have a first point unfold that way where you challenge, you're wrong. You've got to kind of do a quick reset if you're golf here. But Kenan, a little bit of an opening right out of the gate. Hear both players, you know, at the end of some of these rallies, really, you know, pumping themselves up. Heard the come on from golf. Kennan, she's going to throw out her share of those as well. Both players trying to maintain a level of intensity. Oh. Who's got the better serve out of these two? I think golf. Uh, definitely she can hit it bigger. She comes up with some clutch serves and some big moments. Yeah, we'll have to see how many of the serves remain unreturned from both players. Always nice to get those freebies. Can it won't be shy to come forward. Claimed her maiden WTA doubles title, Washington, D.C. And at Luxembourg last year, both with Katie McNally. She's got a break point early on. Strong message Thanks to the game. other side of the court. Her coach and father has Sophia to be pleased with Kenning that start. That's really the bread and butter of Sophia up. Kennan, that backhand. It, she can hit it on a dime, cross court. She can go up the line. So comfortable moving that shot around the court.
Plenty. This is a match that's going to test the consistency of Goff a little more than that match against Osaka, where Osaka was just trying to hit winners and out hit Goff. Kennan is going to be just a little more strategic with how she develops her points. Shrugging his shoulders as if to say, what do I need to do here? There's the camp dad on the left, second row. Mom alongside her. that Goff has to look for. The second serve of, of Kennan, very attackable. This one didn't move Goff very much, and she added some heat to it. Stop, no question about it. Kenin leads by two games to love. Yeah, and Kenin is doing a good job of just making Goff play every single point. She's not giving away any freebies. Just one error from Kenin in the first couple of games. service game under her belt and just settle down feel like she's part of the match you never really feel like you are part of a match until you've got that first game Something that the, the golf camp would be ready for. This one not great either. And golf got up to it pretty, pretty easily. I love the pace of that final shot. Not overplaying. It's all about placement. Discipline from Goff. Saw Kennan trying to close off the court, but just kept her focus, gave herself a lot of space to hit into, and then moved forward. Not overplaying in that point. Let's first up. Forty fifty. Golf trying to go for that second serve a little bit more. She did some of that against Osaka, but then she adjusted, started putting more more margin on her second serve as the match went on. See if she makes some adjustments here with that shot. Way to punctuate your very first game. Coco Goff certainly in that conversation. Only the third player in the last 30 years to win seven or more Grand Slam matches before her 16th birthday.
And of course, the trivia question of the day is... 15, love. Which player won the most majors as a teenager, as far as women are concerned? Which player won the most majors as a teenager? We'll give you till the end of the game, folks. Oh, yes, please, spreading the court magnificently. 30 love. And that would be the game plan for Kenan, not allow golf to use that full athleticism. Got a little unlucky with the net cord that allowed Kenan to take more control, but beautiful ball movement from Sophia Kenan. Here's a dead in the front. Impressive on a serve thus far. That's beautifully done. Game Kenan. And a good adjustment by Kenan because although she Kenan won her first service game, three games she to one. made a lot of second serves. That game got more first serves in. Made it look pretty easy in the end. Fifteen low. And the answer to the trivia question is Chanda, most major titles as a teenager. Monica Sellis. You are 100% correct. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> Let's I had a little cheat sheet there. Did you? That's yeah. a little angel in my ear. That's <laughs> always good, aren't they? Oh, so good. won eight majors as a teenager. Get your head around that for a second. It's incredible when you think about it. <sighs> it's mind-boggling. Let's listen. Golf, sort of in the category of some of the other prodigies. Capriati and Hingus were the other two players to win seven or more Grand Slam matches before their 16th birthday. Capriati 28, Hingus 20. Teeth into this match now. Kenan she reduces the arrears. But it's still Kenan who leads 3 2. Like in its execution, taking it on the rise, taking time away from her opponent. And stepping in, you see how close she's playing to the baseline there. Better position. Out. 
Miss Kennan is challenging the call left baseline. The ball was called out. Fifteen all. Miss Kennan has two challenges remaining. Look at the way Kinnan hits the ball. She addresses the ball so beautifully. It stays on her racket just long enough for her to get the length, but also the spin, allowing her to be consistent with depth and pace. Oh, her, her linear strikes are beautiful. We know she likes the cross-court patterns, but equally adept at changing direction. And the forehand, that's the side that isn't quite as solid as the backhand, but she's hitting that shot beautifully today. That's a... Set a drop shot. Well, it's a very effective tool that she has. Four games to two. And she's showing it right there. Well, she was in much better position on that drop shot. She was closer in. Golf was just a little further back behind the baseline. And the disguise, it looked like she was going to go to the top spin backhand, and at the last moment just comes under it. Nice feel. Miss Goff is challenging the call, right centre service line. Ball's called out. Well, you feel like you have to challenge if you give the, the big come on, right? Look more out than in. But still in. Yeah. A sliver. We've seen a couple of shots like that. 15 low. And these players are just skimming some of the lines. Second serve. Yeah, it surprised Kennan, who did well to even get that ball back in the court. But what good adjustment by Goff, because this was completely unexpected, a bit of a miss hit, and she got up to it so quickly. Talking a little bit earlier about the experience of Kennan has just a bit more experience than than Goff. Goff's third Grand Slam appearance. Appearance. It's the twelfth for Kennan. Already racked up 58 wins on the hard courts. She was tied for the most last year with Barty. Oh, keeping good company. Just a bit for golf. Mm. 
the apology and then the, the double fist pump yeah. right after. Like, I, I really don't mean it. <laughs> it's, it's the most meaningless gesture in our sport. for golf to at least steady herself with that point. Not many players give the apology, faux apology, if you want to call it that, than the fist pump. <laughs> that's, that's rare. That is a big delivery. A fourth ace for golf. And this is turning into a, a spicy contest. 4 3 it is. Yeah. Kelly Thompson, is it new balls? After seven games, it is. Why is it only seven games and then nine thereafter? Because the warm up. Counts as yeah. two games. Make uh, an allowance for that. Mm -hmm. hey. I could tell you were testing me. You already knew the answer to that. But make me sound a little smart. <laughs> I was hoping I was hoping that the fans at, at home were thinking, well, actually I didn't know that. What is the reason? Trying to keep them up to speed. Yeah, it's a good question. We take a lot of that stuff for granted, don't we? It's so automatic for us. Goff has been trying to pick on the forehand of Kennan a little bit more thus far, and she's still not getting a lot from it. And for, for Goff, already 10 unforced errors. That's good extension. Being a little more aggressive on a slightly shorter ball from Kennan. Everything so briskly, so much energy. And a bit of trouble here. That is the first time we've seen a couple of cheap points coming off the record of Kennan. Oh. Goff blinked at the very beginning of the match, just wasn't quite ready to get going. But there, Kennan blinks and we're back on serve. Goff did a good job of keeping the tension in this match. Get those couple of mistakes at the end of the game. So much of this match will come down into who has that little extra belief, who can execute under the additional pressure situations. Shots. This is a donation from one player back to the other at the moment. Yeah, that's just a pressure, you know, forcing golf into a poor decision, kind of wanting to get out of that point a little too quickly. The 
biggest serve of the match so far from Coco. And this is why it's so important to have an idea where you want to serve, the reply you're trying to get, because it just automates your game a lot better, minimizes the nerves and the tension coming into play. of her serves have been unreturned. That's, that's a decent number for Coco. Adjustments happen in real time. Golf getting down just a little lower and hitting through her ground strokes. Perfect timing. Okay, Kenan dropping her racket after that point and putting both of her hands on her face. Couldn't believe she let the sturdy love lead slip. Drop Jeez. shot from golf. First point of the game. And then there. Incredible tension in this match. Every single point, not easy to deal with, especially for a relatively inexperienced player. Forget that about golf. Intelligent shot selection, no panic on that occasion. And a couple of times the net cord from golf has popped up to Kennan's advantage and she takes it, steps in the door. Off going into the Kennan forehand, but not giving her much of an angle. More up the middle with depth. Just miss hits it. Yeah, she went for it, golf, took a big chance. That second serve, 161K mm. with angle. Just a little too much on it. I think she's been to the Novak Djokovic school of second serves in the off season. Or Medvedev, he's going for his mm. first and second, mm. couple of matches. I mean, immediately going after the backhand. 
Knew she was coming in and just stuck this volley. How's that forward movement? That's what gives the volley the impetus. Multiple good things about coming in the way Goff did. It also shows Kennan that she's going to come after her. She's going to keep putting the pressure on. That is a big halt in the context of this match. Coco Goff. Gets an O's out in front for the very first the time. And a couple of free points on serve there for Coco. That was massive. Just alluding to the fact that she gets up so well. Drives with the legs, comes from a pretty athletic family, both uh, mum and dad. Very good athletes. Those are just such good moves, though, at this time of the match. It's just what you want to see a young player doing, putting themselves in good position, making Kennan come up with something a little bit more. Thank you. <laughs> Only in Australia. Got the wind in her sails. And her game is just growing right before our eyes because the beginning of this match, the beginning of the set, golf was just a little more tentative from the ground. Now she is swinging freely, moving the ball from her side of the court. Oh. Yeah, that's a difficult 15, shot 15. under the best of conditions. Trying to change direction with that ball sliding. A little bit wider. Kennan doesn't have 15. as big of a serve consistently as golf, but it's very smart with her placement. And that's what she has to keep doing on her serve, mixing it up, giving herself a chance to be aggressive that way. That was an important game for Kennan. She had lost the last three games from 4-2 up. Needed that game to just steady herself and, of course, keep her in this first set. Yeah, this battle is uh, well and truly joined. There's that toss a little bit. She catches her toss sometimes, and they are just not quite as perfect position. On, Better on the second serve. 15 love. And that'll be something for golf that she can continue to work on. He used to say, sorry, mate, every time they made the ball, bad ball toss. 
you remember who it was? I can't remember, no. Male player. Sorry, mate. It wasn't Rafter, was it? It was. <laughs> That's right. Putting on the afterburners. 13 love. And that drop shot is a weapon, a shot for Kennan, but she's not having as much success thus far. The speed and athleticism of golf. Yeah, her mom, Candy, is going to claim those <laughs> afterburners in the jeans. Mum at the track and field athlete at Florida State University. Dad's going to be putting his hands up when it comes to jumping up for the smashes and the surfs. Of course, he was a, a basketball player. Once again, Goff going for that second serve. Not a huge difference between her first and second serve. Fastest speed. Yeah, four aces, but also four double faults now to complement those aces. This is where Goff has to be careful to not go back to playing the way Kennan prefers, and that's just hitting from the ground. Goff has mixed it up a little bit, looking to come in. She's been more successful. It's three first serves in a row now. Second, that good. How much doesn't matter? Golf leads by six games to five. with Coco. We kind of feel like it's a little bit even now because both players have gotten some good luck. This one just throwing Kennan off when she was in pretty good position. I'm actually wondering if that was going in. It had a big reaction off the tape. Yeah, you almost have to play it though. It's yes. going so fast. Yeah, it is such a reflex, isn't 18. it, Chanda? Easy to kind of lose your position on the court. You're slightly disorientated when it jumps up like that. Ms. Kennan is changing the call, right, far sideline. Ball is called, out.
gut feel is this is a little heavy-handed. For me, that was one of the most annoying things. 16, when you played against somebody who could judge Ms. the ball Cannon that well, you think you've hit a good pass running. or you think you've hit a good shot, and they leave it, and it just goes out. So you're blaming them and not yourself oh, for no. missing the shot? Oh, no. Why don't you play it? <laughs> Give me a second chance. You should have played my out, my out ball. Mm. <laughs> it's your fault. No personal accountability here. <laughs> Just got to love some of these plays. Great way to create instant pressure there. This is the only way your game can grow. You've got to make those moves in these types of situations. Pace, along with depth to her ground strokes, and Kennan struggling to keep up in that rally. That 15th winner brings up a set point. Chase. Wow. Didn't flinch. physical points now at a time in the match where the tension is at its highest done so well there fighting off the set point the man in which she Both did players receive one additional challenge shank return just took it on and perhaps fitting but after 50 minutes the opening set is going to be decided by a tiebreaker just the one break a piece Talked about some of the unforced errors from golf, but you know they are offset by a lot of winners. 19 unforced, but against 16 winners plus the forced errors. I mean, these are good numbers for an aggressive player. Cannon is a little more even, and that's why we are seeing the closest. The first sets. Your total points 137 for Kennan, 36 for Goff.
Ms. Kenyon, challenging call, right service line. Ball was called out. A big reason for that double Two, fault one, is the moves that Goff has made attacking the serve and coming make. in. Those type of moves can get you an extra point or two towards the end of, of a match or set. when your opponent's throwing a strategy out at you. If you can throw it right back at them, they don't like it. And Kenan getting a little taste of her own medicine with the drop shot. Beautiful play from Goff. Intelligent two. tennis. We talk about a great tennis IQ. In the middle of that rally, you could see Goff just adding pace to her shots, and Kennan just a little more tentative with the speed, and Goff able to take advantage. But I just love how she knew the forehand had done damage straight away as soon as she's made contact with the ball. She knows she's going to get a chip up the middle of the court. So she just takes that shot away from, from Cannon. Being brave enough to do it, as you say, under the microscope of pressure and especially a tiebreaker. tiebreak from Kennan. Those are the only two of the match coming under the pressure. Yeah. It's important to, to keep in a context, isn't it? Kennan does only have two double faults. Got four, but when have they come, Shanda? <laughs> Had a 50-50 chance of making that first serve based on her numbers thus far. But guess what? She lands it. Timing is everything, especially with our scoring system. Four set points for Goff. Double prowess, saving her on this occasion. And this is just good stuff, good tennis from both players. Pushing each other, better and better tennis. Still three more set points for Coco.
brave shot from Kennan at that moment as well, and just, just gets the roll. Just wipes its feet on the net on the way over. Things starting to, to get a little more interesting now. Two set points come and gone. Goff still got two more. for Kennan. After Go. two double faults in this tie break, she still went after it. Forehand of Goff just looking a little tentative there. That one straight at her, it didn't move her feet. Oh. This will be a fourth set point. Second on this American serve. Fascinating opening set, just under an hour. Yeah, she was the more dominant player, especially in the teeth of that tie break. And it was golf as the set went on. She started hitting out more and more in her ground strokes, getting more depth. And Kennan, she held her own. Made golf come up with some big moves. But the tie break, Goff again, kind of just holding her nerve. And after three set points, you wondered, could she hold on? And she was able to do just that. I love some of the moves that Goff made. Hitting the return, immediately coming in, following her shots. Set number two here. how Kennan would come out to start this second set, and she is right back with laser focus. Second serve for Kennan at times has been a liability, and she'd want to start getting more first serves going, especially here to start this second set. Forty fifty. And it's always nice after you lose a tight first set the way Kinnan did. If you can come out, hold serve, win that first game, especially if it's a fairly comfortable game, just gives you a little more energy and focus to bring to returning.
Kenyon. First game, second set. from golf. But to, to your point, though, uh, good competitors, they do that. They stay mm -hmm. in the moment a lot more, and they can kind of shake off losses, missed opportunities, and just get right back to the next point. I'd say both these young women are good competitors. We're, we're seeing that in real time. Who can get the advantage here in the second set? That is a beautiful stroke. I'm not sure if I've ever seen a woman go after their second serve as much as Coco is going after hers. Is that rich topspin rate on the forehand? It's got a lot more work on hers versus Cannon. More revs equals more topspin. It's nicely done by Kenan, but we see the results of that additional topspin and the pace and speed that golf has been able to generate, particularly on that forehand side. She's been going after more of her ground strokes. Kenan getting a little bit more on her shot there. Another smart play. What you mentioned about golf's second serve, and I saw it in the match against Osaka. I mean, she was clearly focusing on going after it, not allowing Osaka to step in on second serves and swing away. Seems like a similar mentality here. It's so impressive. Thirty, fifteen. With Serena, we see the heavy kick serve. Mm -hmm. She's got that one, but Coco's is bordering on hitting two first serves. Oh. 40, 50. Called golf's match the first week of the year, and I didn't notice her going after her second serve as much as she's been doing these last couple of matches. Celebration of tennis at this uh, wonderful Nibbles. major. The fan slam, the happy slam, as it's often dubbed. Love 50. It's amazing how the double comes when the pace is down. It's just 156 kilometer an hour second serve, and I say just relative <laughs> to what she's been hitting, Chanda. Exactly, because that's still pretty quick for a second serve. Mm. Come on. And that 
time. Cannon just can't handle the pace. Yeah, second serve's regular between 160 and 170 k's an hour. That one, the upper scales of that at 168. Thirty-forty. Yeah, it's a frustrating double fault for Goff. Trying to hold on to her advantage and in trouble here on serve. from golf. Jace. Under, little additional pressure, down break point on serve, and you would know it by the way she went after that backhand. Saw one of those yesterday evening at 7-8 in the, the fifth set, deciding tiebreaker from a certain Australian. That one didn't look too dissimilar. Advantage, Kenny. Another big double fault for Goff. That pressure is starting to build. I believe the more you keep going for it, the more you're going to win at the end. You might not win every one, but I do believe if you keep going for your shots, you probably win seven or eight out of ten. I totally agree. Solution is not to back off and get more tentative. Mm -hmm. She's just going to somehow fight through, making a lot of unforced errors, those doubles you spoke about, Chanda. Always going to have one or two of these in a set. Another break point. Just to mix things up there, change the contact points. 
three games and to one. She's got another cheap error out of Goff. And Kinnan just hasn't given an inch. She's gotten right back to competing, working through some of these points and took advantage of a little tightness, tension in the golf game. She's got the early break. So difficult to maintain a high level from the start to finish in a match. There are always some ebbs and flows in most cases. We saw a little bit of that in the Osaka match from Goff when she was up a set and 1-0. Had a bad service game. But to Goff's credit, I mean, she just adjusted. She worked it out. She settled back down. And that's what you want to look to do in a match. It's not that you're not going to go off. It's how do you respond. But right now, it's all Kennan. And it's just smart playing because Kennan keeps putting that ball back on Goff's racket. Keep making, she keeps making her have to hit through some of these points. Ball away, that's Kennan. Kennan leads by four Urgency. Games to one. And her attitude. Well, suddenly, this service game becomes a must win one for Goff. Of course, that's she's harboring ambitions of getting back into the set and winning it in straights. I feel like. Double breaker serve here might be one step too far. And that forehand of golf has gone off just just enough to be concerning. 12 on that forehand side. Already four in this set. Yeah, you just, you just get the feeling it's those double faults and the forehand at yeah. the moment that's just gone. And they've been on the golf serve. And so that's mm. a big problem when, you know, giving away Two points here, two or three points there. Yeah, excellent point that. Let's first. Serve. Good serve. Game, Perhaps finding her rhythm. And she does indeed reduce the arrears and playing a bit of catch up. Now, here's a question for you the ball toss. Obviously, with time violations and stuff, you could throw a couple of dodgy tosses and 
Stop the clock. Yes, mm -hmm. and get your breath back. Yep. I have heard some suggestions that irrespective of the toss, you should have to hit it, otherwise it's a fault. I've heard that too. Mm -hmm. Because being able to toss the ball consistently is a skill. I'd like to know where you stand on that, Chanda. I don't know if I agree with that. I don't know. I understand. I understand the premise of it, mm -hmm. but I mean, there are a few players, I think, that take advantage, more advantage of it. But for the most part, you're going to have one or two in a match. I think it's okay. Another net cord. <laughs> We've had more than one or two of those in this match. But think about if it's a windy day. I mean, you, you play outside, you have different conditions. The sun is sometimes there. I, I don't think we need to, to go down that the, road. Go down that road. Okay. Nice to get your thoughts, though. That was brilliant. Oh, that's a big point from Kennan. Just steady herself, holds her ground somewhat here on serve. And if you could change one rule in our sport, is there anything that you would like that to one. change? But what about if you gave a certain number of caught tosses? I like that. Right? Yeah, restricted. I could go mm -hmm. with that. One. I just marry them with the challenges. Three a set. Yeah. 30. Or maybe five. Or Yeah, three a set could work. That could actually work very well. I like how you're thinking. You're the one who's giving me the layups here. <laughs> Important point, this. Recognize that golf forehands having just a few problems still picking on that side. That's crisp. Cannon once again marches towards her chair, throws the ball, throws the tile, and she's got a 5 2 lead. Very important one for Cannon to hold her from love 30 down there. Goff trying to stay in the set. It's worth remembering that Kennan was up 4-2 in that first set. Lost her serve at 4-3. This time, got up 4-1. At 4-2, she made some adjustments. Got the first serve going. Kept her focus. She's thinking out there as well. Game leaking way too many unforced errors at the moment. Making a lot of 
unforced errors, a good way to try to rein things in is to take some of the risk out. And coming in, taking a ball out of the air, closing off the point with that much room decreases the risk. being a parent on the side of the court. I can't imagine. And her mom, Coco's mom, you can tell, she just goes through it every match. Sometimes mm -hmm. she can't even watch. Cord that gives a clear advantage to one player versus the other. I've seen a few of those this match. It's helped to tee up a set point. Quickly snuffed out. Jeez. from Coco Golf. She's missed a couple of these, but you wouldn't know it by looking at that shot. Brought it in, gave herself some additional margin. Step closer to holding on to her serve. Sideline. Balls called in. And the gesture for the challenge from Kiana was like, bring it to me, give it to me. I think she was more hoping this was going out. Spices things Ms. up. Kenin has two challenges remaining. A few set points haven't converted. Now you've got to step up to the line. There's additional pressure trying to serve out the set. Let's see how Kenin handles herself. Serve goes a long way, helping ease some of that tension, some of that pressure of the moment. Can't place a serve much better than that. has knocked oh off part oh of the sponsor sign on the net. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's taken out the eye. <laughs> that eye. Got to keep the sponsors happy. Get that back on properly. Well done, young lady. 
ball kit was all over it. More set points here for Kennan. Fifteen. Dad's not happy with that one. She does convert. Sophia Kennan takes the second, 6-3. And as you rightly pointed out, Chanda, on her own serve. So with the double faults, it really just amplified everything. Yeah, Kennan just had that one double fault on that set point on her serve, but recovered quickly. And she did that throughout the second set, Ken, and made some good adjustments, took what golf was giving her, and just kept that ball coming, stayed consistent, got in better position at times, and was able to be a little more aggressive when she needed to be comfortable at the net on some critical points, and just took advantage of the forehand, kind of going away for golf on her serve. Final sets, golf to serve. Coco Goff to kick us off in the decider. on what you've seen. Do you want to watch a couple more games in this third set before you make a prediction as to who might win this one, Chanda? I would, okay. if you would allow it. Yeah, just not five games, OK? <laughs> <laughs> difficult for golf to maintain that evenness that she has had through a set and a half almost it's been a struggle to kind of pull it and rein it back in i'm fascinated to see how she solves this forehand problem that she's got at the moment Kennan, you're trying to ensure she doesn't solve it. <laughs> Just keep it, keep that ball on golf and see if she can hit her way through it. If she can work her way, figure a way around these struggles. Immediate break point opportunities for Kennan. Get the hard 15, hat out 40. and go to work. vision from Kennan. First game, final set.
beauty. Paul. Love 15. Part of the criteria to be a great competitor is bounce back ability. Love the way she attacks the volley. Takes time away. These are the moments that test you the most as a competitor. Can you, can you make these adjustments? Can you respond? You're kind of knocked down a little bit. Another forehand miss from Goff. Kennan just not backing off. It's easy to get a little tentative. You see your opponents missing a little bit more and you maybe wait for them to miss, but Kennan stepping in, big point there. take a better cut, a better line <laughs> to a forehand than that. That was right on. I think you know whose side the fans are on. They weren't amused by that one being called in. We could see that from here. I mean, that was just a beautiful, perfectly timed shot. A real pep in her step now. Wow. It's never nice 15 when it's so early on in a set. You feel like this is a must-win service game for me. Yeah, it's gone a little quickly for Goff, the first two games of the third, considering how competitive the match has been overall. This is a little bit of what happened in the first set where Goff got broken early, got down very quickly, but she was able to recover. Different story here. In the third set. That's one of the few balls that has hit the tape and not gone over <laughs> to the other side. This is 
just what the doctor would have ordered. Nice quick hold. Feel like you're catching up quick. Been the biggest serve of the match. Forty thirty. This is the time of a match where you just would love a few more free points on serve, a few more easy points. such beautiful action on that backhand side and at the end she uses her left left arm to get that extra spin and the angle does a lot of damage in some of these rallies I always think you deserve to get lucky when you make the right play. You won't get any disagreement out of me. Yeah. And you go for the shot. I always think the mishits that go in are the ones where you're going forward and you're trying to make something happen. When you're a little tentative, they always seem to go out. Same with the let cords. I think when you're making the right moves, you're aggressive. Mm -hmm. you know, with the right mentality, good things can happen and you may get a little more luck. Things to fall your way. Goff's been able to get away with approaching cross court because she's had such good direction, good depth, and those shots have moved Kenan, but that one was right back to her. Handled it with ease. Chance to go up a double break here for Ken Kenan. Shot. Just, just got to love the way both of these women are competing. Talk about golf, just 15, Kenan 21, and they are putting it all, leaving it all out there on court. This is a real opportunity for Kenan to try to get that double break to really stretch her lead. Making an even bigger uphill climb for Goff. She knows it. Solid. Kenin leads by three She's got a three love lead up. in this deciding set. Kenin serving to extend this three love lead.
both know what's going to happen now. Do we? I think so. <laughs> Certainly in the next two or three games, Goff is just going to come up playing loose. She's down three, love. She'll feel like she's got to go after it now. Relax up. Good serve from Ken. And now we talked about the golf 15. serve, the unreturned serves from the first to the second set. And Kennan from the first set, 6% unreturned mm -hmm. serves. And the second went up to 23% of wow. unreturned serves. Started getting more pace and better direction. I like those kind of returns on my investments, Chanda. <laughs> That's pretty darn good. <laughs> <laughs> Timely first serve from Kennan, and that's the other stat that was such a big difference. First serves in. She's just gotten better and better. difficult to come up with passing shots and, and lobs under pressure. And that's what golf is doing right here, putting more pressure on Kenna. And she's got a break point to show for it. at this stage everything is magnified when you're three love down just less room to maneuver tough watch for the golf camp at the moment have been thinking she was in good shape and neutral position, an opportunity to maybe take control, and Goff just shut the door on it, exploding that backhand. Let's first serve. to the unreturned serve tally for, for Kennan in this third set. First serve, nigh on her fastest, just two kilometers shy of her biggest serve in this match so far. Goff's ball was traveling through the air. Kenna was motioning, motioning it to go long. Just wondering if that could be considered hindrance or not. Umpire didn't do anything about it. Point continued. 
to game point. That is precision. Massive hole in the context of this match. Kenin leads by four games to love. Kenin, she's won some tough battles, some tough matches in her short career already. Got to the round of 16 of Roland Garros, beat Serena Williams. Fifteen. Maybe trying to channel a little bit of that energy here today to try to close this one out. impressive is Kenan's ability just to knuckle down and force herself just to fight for every point. Sometimes you can get a little too relaxed when you've got a comfortable lead. She's not allowing herself that comfort. Well, she's playing Kenan like she's got a big chip on her shoulder and it's just that little bit of edge to her that's keeping her in the right in the right place to compete hard every point. Cannon creating a whole host of break points here again. is a dagger blow and I think we're getting pretty close to the last rights here on Melbourne Arena. One decent service game away from her first ever quarterfinal at a major. Her dad and coach urging her on. Finish line well within sight here. face before that last point that the motion was just there and, and maybe coming but she steadied herself handled herself well in that rally still fighting winner of this match I'll take on either Ons Jabur or Wang they're busy underway at the moment Chaburz won the opening set there. Peng Cheng, of course, the Chinese lady who put out Serena Williams. Starting set has got away from Goff very quickly. It's Kennan who has kept it tighter than the tax man's purse. And she's arrived at match point. Yes. 
you've got to love the attitude of Goff. She is five love down. She's match point down. And she's still bringing out the come ons. Again, exquisite length, suffocating Goff into error. Match point number two. Correction. That was good. We play the point. It's a little bad luck for golf because she had hit such a good return and sure tough to say if Kennan even heard that call. Mm. It just looked like a quick miss hit, but it has to be replayed. Let's pass up. Sophia Kennan is through to a Grand Slam quarterfinal for the very first time in her career. 28 to just 22 unforced errors. Always a fantastic stat when you have a positive differential there.